At this time, I will take a moment to share with you, and the only thing I can figure out how to call this is a pastoral announcement, which I never do. You know me, I'm pretty straightforward. But I need to share this pastoral announcement uh, as we are so thrilled to be on the cusp of finishing our Forward in Faith restoration project of the building that is right out these windows. If you haven't seen it, I encourage you to look today. So we are on, uh, we're having our own celebration of Advent. Our own, the coming of this coming together has truly been a blessing from God. Um, and I wanted to speak just for a moment of my support of Forward in Faith to you, our congregation, and to those of you in our congregation that are participating online. And while our world still rests on what seems to be a shaky foundation, I know that together as a congregation, we stand on Christ the foundation. And as we approach the finishing of Forward in Faith, I want to take a moment to say that God, through you, has accomplished what the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians more than we can ask or imagine. Through your faithfulness, since 2017, we have renovated our fellowship hall. We have been able to add an ADA restroom. We have purchased a church manse. And we are now on the cusp of completing the restoration and renovation of one of our current buildings that was built in 1915. All of this has happened debt-free because of you. Your steadfastness, your faithfulness, and your commitment to our church. It also stands as a commitment to the betterment of our community as a whole. All of our facilities, the sanctuary, our fellowship hall, the classrooms, our memorial garden, our columbarium, these are a gift of God's grace to this Boca Grande community to which we are stewards. You will leave a mark through Forward in Faith for those who will follow us. And for this, I am grateful. I don't know if they didn't have anything to do, but I recently took a box of historical materials to the Historical Society because they wanted to record the historicity of our church. And they have documented all things historical that this church has accomplished in Christ that we have record of. We have photographs from a Sunday school group that was active in the 1930s. We have many photographs of current fishing guides on our island that were a part of our Sunday school classes. In the early 1900s, the Women's Mission Society, which is now known as the United Methodist Women, began collecting coins in socks to help women and children. And they have carried on the tradition into the 21st century. They are the feet and hands and body of Christ to women and children around the world along with you. We anticipate needing $284,000 to complete the entire Forward in Faith project debt-free. And I believe we are those, myself included, who needs to finish it. And I ask you now to consider a year-end gift if you are able, or a pledge in 2021 to help us collectively meet this goal together. We started it together, and it's time that we finish it together. And let us remember that our local church is also a local mission. We have over 100 years of missional faithfulness to carry forward. Our facilities are an integral part of our local mission, and we have to take care of what God has entrusted to us. 
And we acknowledge that taking care of facilities and restoring them and renovating them is not our final goal as the church. But it is necessary during this time. This week, via mail and now in this service, I offer you the opportunity to prayerfully help us finish forward in faith. If you are new to this and you don't understand anything I'm talking about, God bless you. <laughs> I can fill you in and offer you ways that you can help. And in closing, I offer my gratitude again to all that you have done, to the sacrifices that you have made, and to all of the brain power and work that has gone into this project since 2017. I have believed in this from the very start. And together, together, we have had no solo heroic leaders. We have adapted, changed, made compromises. We have come together with each other and with our community, and we have worked forward. We've seen results, and we have never once forgot our mission. So this Advent season, I ask that you will prayerfully consider helping us finish forward in faith. I'm going to participate and I ask you to please do also. Amen.